how I determine what's wrong with the power feed shaft for my lathe, the turret. They've engaged it while the turret was stuck and it's tried to twist this back end off. It's almost sheared the shaft keys in half. It explains why the key that rides in this power shaft was almost cut in half as well. I'm using one of the lathes at work to true it up. Nothing too special. the end of it twitching. Okay, well I shaved a couple of thou off and it's a lot straighter now. It'll just be a little bit looser. Okay, well the shaft fits a lot better. Still a bit sticky though. They've really done a number on it. Unfortunately, it's actually worse than before, but I think that's because this is hanging down. This isn't bolted up tight. So I'll have a play around with it and see what I can come up with. That's all right there. It's just that point there, it sticks. So it's just still pretty twisted. Okay, well I worked out that despite its age, most of the fasteners used on this lathe are metric. There's usually eight 10 or 12 millimeter bolts. Like that's an 8 mil bolt, 16 mil. There's an 8 mil bolt in the other end of this shaft. Um, 10 mil, I think. And likewise, shaft diameters are all metric. And I think that's 4, 8, 12. Could be thousands. That might still be imperial, but the uh, fasteners used to make this thing are actually metric. There we go, all back together again. Nice and smooth too. That should work quite well. Might put a bit of brass or something down there, maybe aluminium. Not smacking into the steel every time. Looks like there used to be something riveted in there. All screwed in. Oh well. Time to uh, finish putting it back together again, or at least get part of the turret on and then power it up. Oh, well, the turret should work quite well now. Nice and smooth. These handles have been soldered on, obviously, with a bronze solder. Something's happened to it in the past. I think they've just worn out and fallen off. Normally they're threaded in. That would be just fine. Well, that's the bare turret slide back on. I had to repair the spring for the trip, but that's all right now. That's free. Still a tiny bit of stuff stuck in there, but it must be coagulated coolant or something. Uh, kerosene and other crap doesn't dissolve it. All that. Still got a little bit of crap migrating out of it. I'll give this thing a 100% restoration one day, but since it's still outside, I don't want to get too carried away. It will be covered with a cloth or sheet or something overnight. Time to clean up the gib strip and put that in. Clean up all these. I'm going to take that off and use electrolysis so I can see the scale on it. That's just a ruler. 10 inch rule. And yeah, and calibrate the turret and away we go. Okay, they tapered gibs in now. And the way these gib strips work is that this screw can be used to push the gib in tighter after slackening this screw off, or vice versa, you can loosen this one off and drive that one in and it'll push the gib back and release it, loosen this up. They're really easy to use once you get the hang of it. These ones here, I think, are just locking nuts. They stop the gib from floating around a bit. You can tighten it up and lock it in if necessary. Uh, there is a normal lock pin which is going to go in here, but... Yeah, this is your main adjustment. I'm going to snug that up after I've used it a few times. Run it in. Uh, cross slide gib is a little bit different. It's just that par parallel strip there. And there's a row of set screws along the uh, cross slide and you just have to adjust them 
little bit at a time until you get it nice and a little bit firm but not sloppy or excessively tight depends on how you like to run your machine anyway some people like it a bit loose because they're doing basic non-critical jobs but if you're doing something really critical just snug them up a little bit and uh, your accuracy will improve because the cross side isn't trying to walk around on ok we've well, got the turret back on I used the stone to clean up all the surface and things and things you'll still see the dents but at least it's flat now particularly around the tool mounting bosses I'll have to hone inside there though There's still a bit more work to do try the mechanism out Beautiful. It's working quite well now. <laughs> Good as new. It's time for a quick power test. <laughs> Gotta add some more oil to this. Nothing getting up there yet. Oh well. Let's try high gear. Fairly thin oil, maybe it is hydraulic oil. This seems a bit different. Got a better view of the motor now. <laughs> That's the old one. Oh, 